spindle roughing gouge, which is used between centers to take down stock to a, a cylinder, whether it's from square sawn surface or from a rough surface, like on this piece of wood I have behind me from a log, this is the tool you would shoot for. It's often overlooked when it comes to the importance of the sharpening of this tool, and often people end up with it quite an upright edge that is scraping really and becomes more awkward to use. So we're going to put it in the SVS 50 and retain the angle of around 45 degrees and we're going to have a very sharp edge. And this is important because if you have an edge which is a little coarse, then if you think about it, it's like a row of teeth and these will break off or dull more easily when we're cutting a surface. And by honing that, it's going to be a clean, sharp, polished edge, which will cut better and also last longer, often overlooked. Let's sharpen it. So here I am using a protrusion of 75 millimeters on the TTS 100. The jig is the SVS 50, and this is gonna give me the opportunity to create a nice even edge along this very large roughing gouge. It's often seen where people over sharpen at the front too much, and this creates a bad shape on the front of the tool. It'll still perform, but not as well. And in the jig, we keep a nice, true surface. If you put it up against a flat area such as this, you can see that you can't get even a pin through the gap on the front. So this is perfect. It'll take some practice. You need some pressure on the SVS 50 against the universal support arm and lift it until it touches the wheel. And then rolling across using all of the available stone's edge, we're going to sharpen. Keeping the pressure down on the front of the tool as well as against the universal support arm. Roll it, you'll see where the contact is. Backwards and forwards. And we'll see, we get a lovely edge. Okay, so now we're going to hone. I'm going to take the universal support arm out replace it the other way around. It's important to remember to apply some honing compound. Put the jig up onto the universal support arm and with firm pressure we're now going to polish the bevel. It's a natural progression um, wanting to have the tool remain sharp. If you were driving your car and the performance started to degrade you would do something about it. So it's the same thing when you're using a sharp edge tool.